Hello everybody, I'm 7ready aka Trey, I'm a Finnish speedrunner. I'm here going to be showcasing the NA standard speed world record holder for that category. But I'm not alone this time, we have a guest here with me commentating. Uh, Nick, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nick Apostolidis. I voiced Leon in this game. I also provided his mocap and I'm just happy to be a part of this charity. It's an awesome I am I for one am very excited to see this this speed run because I kill myself to beat this game in just over two hours. I don't know how he cuts that in half even more so um uh, i'm very excited yeah so um and why do you normally do quite risky try to i try to do <laughs> uh, most of the kind of riskier stuff with a little bit of safety okay, in the side okay, but uh without <laughs> further ado let's get started so this uh, is gonna be awesome i can't wait yeah so um we're gonna start at the gas station and we have actually I don't know if you've seen any speed runs of this game, Nick. Have you? I have seen different types of speed runs, like um, like no magnum or you know just knives only or something. But I've never seen a one-hour playthrough. I just believe it until I see it. So this is going to be crazy. All right. So what do you eat for breakfast? How do you do breakfast? This? Just a lot of coffee. All right. Coffee okay, is I need... my main. <laughs> okay, so I need a lot of coffee if I want yes. to be as good as you. All right. So we have named a lot of these zombies in the speed run. Usually we've only named zombies who are uh, kind of annoying and ruin runs. So uh, we've just shot one of the zombies we've named. His name is Frank. He's the gas station uh, showstopper, so to say. Usually you might reach at him. Quite a bit when you start speed running. This is out of control. And, uh, yeah. Um, so first of all, we're trying to get the uh, RPD, the pull part, Shit. I guess. Some parts, yeah. Uh, yeah. The old school mod, Leon from '98. <laughs> yeah. Love it, love it. In the the uh, stone cold face of Leon. Um, all right, here's the first. We actually named this zombie Robert Paulson. It's a five top reference, uh, but uh, he was nice to me, so we get a free to, uh, <laughs> RPD. Uh, we already got a donation from Annie. I think that's a Annie. Says thank you. Starting it off, starting off strong. Yep. Thank you so much for the five dollars, Annie. Really appreciate that. So. Uh, There's not a lot of like super glitchy stuff we do in this run. Yeah. We just mainly it's about like wanna just get from the A point too much turning, hugging the corners right and like picking up as little items as we can, right? Jeez. And avoiding right. zombies, I obviously. I imagine to get one hour, like you barely fight anybody if you don't need to. I don't know how you're gonna get past like the IVs, like I'm very I've seen answer for him. Yeah, yes. that will. We instantly run past this zombie right here. We actually paused the game, which causes for some reason the zombie, zombie come through the door faster. Yeah, no, yeah. We're just kind of. They can, it is consistent. We really this? have studied a lot of the zombie AI. So we know like when we can run by and when not. We've just had a $5 donation from Perelt. Uh, the comment is Leon, commentating Leon. Team RPD Hoyt. <laughs> Good luck on the 17 Ray D, Trey. This is not how I thank you, thank you. So, uh, the thing which you might not know, Nick, is that this game is quite broken if you play a little bit on higher frame, per, frame rate. So, uh, the whole knife, the knife damage of this game is kind of at the frame rate. Be I have, quite a bit. I have heard that. Yes, um, some uh, speedrunner friends of mine, they've actually told me a lot of these tricks. Yeah. And I started to understand it's really fascinating. The knife can... Yeah, so uh, 
I'm also... So there's actually three different ways almost to run this category to get the world record. And maybe it might be only two anymore because I got a really good run in. But you can use shotgun later on. You can use a lot of knives or you can use knives and grenades. But currently we're doing knives and grenades which is gonna be... It is the route that I cur have used on my current world records. Quite a bit of luck also involved. Uh, I've got a question here from Fracture. My question to Nick is, how does he feel about 7YD having over 2,600 hours? Oh no. I don't, I don't know if I've spent 2,600 hours doing anything in my life, so that's, that's, why, that's why you hold my world. That's why you hold the world. That's we amazing. had a little bit of a We had a little bit of a so, uh, mess up there. That's zombie so, uh, donuts. That's zombie um, he is smoker time nice, but this time around he put his hand up and karate blocked my bullet so I couldn't shoot him <laughs> in the head. And Because uh, we usually avoid zombies by shooting them in the head. So oh, Of course. Yeah. Uh, we, we got a cool donation, $10 from Moto, Moto Hunt, Hanta. So thank you very much. Sorry, I can barely read these days. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we also got a donation from Kreft or Kreft uh, with $15. And the question awesome. is, hello, is this a Leon A or Leon B voice actor? <laughs> question mark. <laughs> I'll leave that one for you, Nick. This is both. Leon A <laughs> and Leon B. Oh. Jesus uh, Christ. It's quite a difference between Leon A and Leon B voice. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you Marvin! What the hell Usually this one of this category, you if you get bit once, you pretty much have to reset. But luckily this is not a super serious attempt. If we can yeah, hit I, them once. I um I understand how, how how this game is is unpredictable in a lot of ways, and that's that's one reason why I, every time I play it, it's just it's different every single time. Of, uh, of like the G's and the sewers can like throw off an entire game, so I understand. Yeah, indeed. So, I have put a lot of hour in this, as you just heard, like 2600 at least. So, it's, it's impossible question. I wish it a lot the game. It's about to get Groundhog Day, looping virus and outbreak. It's about the uh, time loop and uh, repeating the same day over and over in the speed run this game. If you, if you could guess within 50 playthroughs, within 50 give or take, how many would you say? Within 50, it dip, like if I'm running a category for world record, I might even like... I ran like 4 days of Claire A Hardcore recently and I finished only one run in like oh, 30 see. hours, so... Oh, whoops. That's so, uh, so it's a lot of resets. Some categories you can finish runs more easily, some not so. Alright, we have a, a licker here who is uh, named Randy Orton because he likes to RKO you out of nowhere. But uh, let's see how he behaves this time. So he's being a little bit of a fool here, giving us a free pass. Very good. And uh, these puzzles, these uh, medallion puzzles here, are uh, their RNG in a way that their rotation is always random, but the solution is always the same. So you need to learn, depending on what rotation each dial has, you need to learn to rotate the correct way. So there's six yeah. pictures on each each dial, and there's three dials in each. So uh, there's quite a bit of learning here. Let's see if we can get this skip here, avoiding this explosion. Right. Already, it's been seven and a half minutes. Jeez. 
Jesus. Yeah, we go kind of and leakers also. They just look up there, miss us. And uh, we kind of actually this zombies is kind of weird place. Let's see. Where are you going? Twenty-five dollar though, and the comp causes a uh, good tree. <laughs> Thank you, Mento. So this one actually has had quite a weird zombie placement. It don't usually happen. I'm really low on bullets, so I actually already need to do something a bit safer. I need to grab some extra bullets somewhere, if I can think of where, but it'll happen soon enough. And uh, actually heading for our first boss fight. So we're usually call this at the end. This is the end of RPD 1, so the first time you enter RPD. And uh, I can't believe you're working already. That's insane. Ten minutes, not even. <laughs> wow. Also, I know um, there's been a lot of runs of RE2R already happening on the stream, so I'm not sure if everybody has already explained to death all the mechanics of the game. There's like stair skating, so tapping aim on stairs makes you go a little bit faster. You can get a couple that. normal running steps instead of like a slow normal running animation. Right. And then exactly. here we're gonna abuse the knife, so be prepared. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen, and seventeen. There we go. And that's the fight. Somebody's watching me. That is. Insane. So, Leon, as, as you can see, a natural guy things quickly. <laughs> My mouth is just open. <laughs> We're gonna see some funny foolery a little bit later on in the run. I hope you can actually see the. Uh... Oh well, I don't know if you can actually see my webcam at all, but. Well, uh, anyway, the the video, so the video on uh, on Tiltify is, it's skipping a little bit for yeah. me, but, yeah. but I'm seeing, but I'm seeing mostly everything you're doing, uh, All right. with just like certain seconds, yeah, uh, just cut out, but it's well, uh, I'm following your game pretty closely, yeah. Well, there's so one section I hope hey, you'll manage to see I'm on the stream so you can actually you. see me doing it because some Which sections are a bit funnier I'll, I'll, when you should go look at the stream. Okay. But uh, uh, you have questions in the meantime. <laughs> I think I've missed a couple. I'm sorry. If there's any questions for Nick, Hello? Uh, throw them in the chat and. Uh... We've just had a, a comment from Shinky who said, "Get Nick to ask for donations in Leon voice, and I'll do it." <laughs> well, the funny thing is, is it is my voice. I didn't change it, so my voice is Leon's voice. So I'll just say, if you guys want to donate to an amazing cause, this is the time to do it. Indeed. Save the children. Save the Hold children. Because I'm a big advocate of charities. And I think Leon would be too. Well, we are pushing towards $2,000. So, fingers crossed we may get some decent donations coming in, bigger donations, who knows. Every donation counts, guys. Um, Trey, um, I'm going to ask you the kindly, um, do you reckon you could just pause it for a second? We, yes. We're going to look to um, just drop the bit right. Um, so we're going to put the technical issue screen on because we've been. this is a big, hotly anticipated run here. And I want us just to try and fix this within a minute or two. So All if right. you guys can be extremely patient in chat.
Go. Hello, everybody. I hope we're back without too many technical difficulties. Um, Welcome back. Let's hope things go smoothly from here on out. Let's hope. Hopefully. This is not how I imagined my first stream. <laughs> <laughs> well that was good. <laughs> nice one. All right. Uh, so where we left off, right? We're at the kennels with the dogs. Um, these dogs are indeed um, a little bit of RNG. RNG, how they behave. Most of the time they are fine, but... Uh, <laughs> Obviously, it's a marathon stream. Everything must go wrong. Um, <laughs> That's how it works. I think this is a lot better. Let's um, see. For me. Got a question from Flynn here. Nick and Matt didn't ask you my question. I have three kids and a missus. Do you want them? <laughs> That's well, from Flynn in the chat. I am I'm quite sure they're lovely. And you should be thankful for that beautiful family. So I, I will say no, I don't want them. <laughs> treat, them, treat them good. I'm sure they love you. <laughs> oh, and we just had a, a donation from Coffee Drinking New. Nick, what are your favorite? Oh, oh the donation. <laughs> Thank you for that donation. Um, so, his question to you, Nick. Nick, what are your favorite Leon and Claire costumes? Well, let's see. I look. I'm really, really partial to the new one. <laughs> I like some of the mods too, but. Um, the new one is just, it's modernized and badass, and I did my own cosplay for it. Um, I'd have to say that one. And for Claire, I do like classic Claire. Grew up with that too. You know? High five. RE2 Original was the first RE game I ever played back in 98, so I'm just partial to that. Okay. Now we gotta hope we don't miss this shot, because I only have one bullet. Alright. I did not miss it. Here we're doing kind of on purpose we're using a knife here to oh, avoid waste some time to wow. uh, just sneak by all these zombies. Now I need to actually get some bullets though, because having zero bullets is always a problem. Yes um, it is. Normally you would have some bullets here, but we've had to shoot some extra stuff and I missed bullets. And believe it or not, Nick, that knife defensive attack that uh, Trace just done, it was intentional. Uh, it didn't get attacked no, on purpose then. I, 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 I'm watching him do this, and I understand why he does everything. Uh, <laughs> no. yeah. I, I know. I know. That was a, a very good move, actually. 100% up with everything. All right. We're going to get our pistol bullets here back. At least a couple extra. And uh, now we're gonna try something which is not a lot of runners currently too. Even like the other top runners don't take this line. It's quite precise, but let's see if we can. If you do it too slowly or too quickly, you're gonna get bitten by a zombie. Let's see. All right, let's, let's see it. I'm really just like watching every move. This is All right, there we go. Is that I know I know some speed running tactics, but not yours. <laughs> let's hope there's no zombie behind this door. Alright, there actually was a zombie behind the door, but for some reason you can kind of manipulate the zombie with the camera angle to not bite you. And, uh, I've, I've heard that about I've heard that about liquors. Um, it's mainly for liquors. There's very few cases it works with zombies, though. Very few. I've, I've heard it actually works with the G's in the sewer. If you don't, if you um, look at them or don't look at them, they won't grab you. Um. I'm pretty sure they can grab you, but it is just maybe a little bit less likely. But we usually try to do kind of a... Um, well, the quickest way, which is we just run and hope they behave. <laughs> and uh, But until we get there, we have some other things to deal with. And uh, Let's grab some bullets here. Actually, now that we grab... Actually... I just realized, I've been too busy talking and I forgot to grab a safety bag. Which is totally fine, because I don't need that at all in this run, right? <laughs> That's right. right. That's right, because I'm totally... Well, you tell me you're the pro, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we will just hope everything goes according to plan. Uh, John, this gave me a good question. So Nick, if you end up at Leon's party with Marvin, what cake would you want? That is very easy. An Oreo cake. <laughs> Covered in Oreos. For anyone who watches the streams that we do, um, we're always eating Oreos. And thank you, Burger Pits, for the $5 donation. We are, guys, we are close. We're at 1935. We're trying to hit 2000 for the kids. That's amazing. Thank you. And coffee drinking noob, aren't you? Um, then I just see you do the the speed run with the the handgun only, right? I caught the very very end of yours. Indeed, coffee you did. Uh, yeah, amazing. Pistol awesome. only run. I'm just had a five dollar donation from you, Nintendo. Um, donated towards the kissing scene incentive. Oh, I didn't All even know right. we got that one, but we can do it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Every dollar counts, guys. It does indeed. Uh, Prof asked a question. Nick, what is your favorite Leon scene, either in the original or this one? Uh, one of my favorite scenes of all time in all of Resident Evil cinema is when we meet Kendo in this game. Heart-wrenching. Um, oh, with the, yeah, yeah. I think that's a very, very dark and emotional scene, and it really kind of sums up what Resident Evil is to me. This grim world, this universe, and um, I loved it. I thought it was great character development, and um, so that's your answer. Oh. It's indeed a very good scene. It's kind of funny that I've speedrun this game so much. I I don't even You've remember a lot of the cutscenes anymore because oh, I just I, I keep believe... everything. And uh, there's probably been about thousand hours, or maybe even two thousand hours since I've seen <laughs> any of the cutscenes. So. <laughs> It's always funny sometimes to see some of the cutscenes cut and be like, oh, oh, this happened. So, I got a question for you. What, What is your favorite, since you play this so many times, what's your favorite uh, curse word from Leon? <laughs> curse word? Uh, it's kind of funny. We always joke a lot about every time uh, either Claire or Leon both encounter uh, Mr. X, they yell, Jesus Christ. So I think the RE universe has a different type of Jesus. Which is Mr. X. <laughs> I think so. Jesus Christ! It's but, him uh, again. Yeah. Alright, let's see. We have a, a so hallway with a lot of zombies here. Which means a lot of shots. Hopefully, hit. Hopefully. Look. Alright. And the very last dog section. Ooh, okay. Which is, uh,. This is probably one of the toughest RNG wise. You never really know what happens. So, right, it's uh, random. Yeah. Like, we have lines which are more consistent, but still random things happen. Let's see if they work. Okay. I don't know what this dog is doing. Okay. It actually behaved relatively nicely. The dogs are kind of random too. They might change up a speed run, infect it. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck on this next section. Uh, this is I, I want to. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I want to see how you escape this. I don't. I, <laughs> I don't know what your inventory looks like. I don't know if you have like flashes or anything, but. Oh, I did totally too many inputs. Inputs. I'm a little bit nervous, but not the most optimal puzzle. But this section. Is actually quite simple though. We speedrunners have figured it out. We shoot, we throw a flash, we get a grab, and we just run by everything. Give me a break. Let's see it. Oh, excellent. Welcome. Oh, he's blind. Okay. All right. All right. That's fantastic. I was taught that. Uh, my my friends Sarah and Jack, <laughs> they uh, they taught me all these. Tr it's just not as fast as this. Uh, we we typically get every gun except the Magnum, and I can beat the game in um, just over two hours, like two hours ten minutes. Um, they can finish the game in about ninety minutes, um, which yeah. wasn't to me. 
and look, we're at 20 minutes and we're at Kendo. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So there's a little bit of a trick here. We run on the left side of this uh, border post here. It causes Ada to run this whole section all the way here, which causes him to be a little bit faster on this section. But there's a lot of waiting now. It's a kind of a... Yep, yep. Uh, good here's... time for questions. Um, let's see. Uh, Burger Pits asks if I could ever get the opportunity to voice act in any other RE game, which would it cho which would I choose? I would honestly say, I mean, there's been a lot of rumors about RE4. I would love to reprise my role and act in RE4 because it's it's arguably my favorite for sentimental value because it's the game I introduced my little brother to into the RE universe. Um, he was eight years old at the time and we have played that game that a million times and he fell in love with Resident Evil because of that game and so if if I, that would be amazing this is actually the second Based Resident Evil said, game I've ever played the first one was Resident Evil 5 but I didn't play it because it was Resident Evil game I played it because mm -hmm. I wanted a co-op game to play with a friend so this is like it's my actual first Proper introduction, kind of getting more invested in the RE game, and this is actually my first ever speedrun game. Really? Wow, yes. well, you're really good at it. Have you never no. tried to speedrun any other RE titles? I've uh, I learned the ori original Resident Evil 3 and then Resident Evil 3 remake when okay. it came out, but it's uh, I've not run that for a little bit again. I came back to this game. This game was more my style. And uh, now we're gonna do something very special here uh, with our little alligator chase scene here. Um, if you've been familiar to my stream, you know what's gonna happen. But uh, we're gonna Let's go. go. Sure this is the right way? Let's know see how this happen. goes. <laughs> so uh, here, while dodging the alligator, so let's see how it goes. Okay. Here we go. This is gonna be funny. So actually the inputs to dodge the alligator is ADA, which spells out ADA, if you didn't Holy know. Shit. It's kind of a fun little thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this what am this I is absolutely right? incredible. <laughs> what am I watching right now? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is actually my one of my favorite lines as well. Wait, Wait what is control? <laughs> I even ask? I'm actually controlling it with my other hand and juggling with the other. You <laughs> always ADA on this section. It is. That's that's yeah, that's pretty crazy though. <laughs> and after the third dot, you don't need to even press anything. So that's how this. Just get up here. Do some juggling there. I guess I would learn that. I would know that if I've played the game. A trillion times. <laughs> yes, indeed. You said the virus it's turned awesome. people That's into so cool. monsters, not reptiles. More waiting, waiting for Ada to get to the elevator here. <laughs> wow, twenty-four minutes. Jesus, it's going quite swimmingly. Could be better, but it's always. At this point, I mean, you you probably know. When do you think you'll finish the game? I think like at at one hour mark or just over? No, no, it'll definitely be around 50, 53, 54 minutes maybe. Wow. A lot, a lot of these games do like so 54 minutes in game time, which is basically the cutscenes don't count towards the game time, and then there's a lot of different things that don't count towards the game time. But in game time, I'll think about 54 minutes. With this one. So here we are introduced to Ada, and uh, it's the right. secret well, weapon time. But you can't hide. It's secret weapon time. <clears throat> Crayons zero one asks Nick is Leon in love with Ada or Ashley? I think I think he made it very clear at the end of RE4 how he felt about Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> he turned out that <laughs> offer for a date. So we'll need to do some hacking here. You can actually, you don't need to hack all the way like 
if you click once, actually, wow. Okay, I'm not, I've been running player. I forget to hack this one here. It's my bad. Running player and forgetting the Leon route. Feels good, man. Um, so, uh, if you when you hack these, if you click just once, it actually progresses the bar certain amount, which means you don't actually need to finish the hack completely. Just click at the right time at the very end, which causes it to finish it on its own. So that's why we are kind of able to let go of the hacks a bit early on, because it will finish on its own. Let me ask you some. You probably know all this. Um, my my friends Sarah and Zach, they showed me tricks that when you're in a different room you can like shoot parts of the wall and then when you enter the next room that shot that sound triggered zombies to be in certain places you ever hear yes. about that there is truth that? to it and we do use it always on one spot which is kind of later on actually in the sewer in the in the sewers right uh we kind of well, there's a way to use it in sewers. We don't really do it that much. Um, the main one we only use is in library, like in RPD. I've heard that that's like... the one. I... Yeah, that's that's the main but... one I was uh, talking about. But uh, there is drink. one kind of thing that happens unintentionally. So we're gonna be shooting a G adult at one point with Leon. That actually causes the zombies to be kind of at weird places compared to Claire. It's not like a... it happens because. You have to shoot the G-Adult on Leon, because it's not there on Claire. So there's a little bit of a difference in the zombie placement because of that. Uh, coffee drinking noob donated another 15 bucks. Thank you very much. Awesome. $50 away from 2000 guys. Keep it coming. Fantastic cause. Well done, everybody. Thank you. So we'll be doing yeah, something got... fancy here, which is double hacking. And let me see, let's see if I... So what are you doing right now? Oh, I'm shooting. hacking two things at once. It makes no, why this. Are you, why are you shooting the ground? Oh, all right. So yeah, so so you have it a little bit delayed. So I'm just shooting bullets away. This game has a system called. I probably should have talked this about a lot earlier, but this game has a system called dynamic difficulty or the difficulty adjustment, which means when right, things happen right, right. in the game, it raises. The difficulty of the game basically oh, makes so enemies a bit tougher and uh, less, yeah. yeah so uh yeah. we shoot the bullets yeah. away to lower our da just a little bit it's not much but uh wow. we try to optimize yeah. everything we can in these rounds that is, that's crazy <laughs> i'm learning so much i might be able to cut five minutes off my time so the, the question is then nick when are you uh, going to speed one uh, you gonna, gonna jump on the bandwagon? Come on! I'm gonna embarrass myself. Have a heart <laughs> there is some fantastic it. guides and uh, a lot of helpful people helping also. So I have a uh, oh, hey. We just got oh, we're thirty bucks away. Arlen Kales donated twenty bucks. Thank you, nineteen seventy guys, nineteen seventy. Um, let's see. Uh, I do have my own guide that I've created with my friends. Um, and again. It takes everything out of me to, to beat this game in just over two hours, and I thought that was fast. Um, maybe one day. Hey, I think we just broke it, guys. We just oh, hit. Bless him. We just hit twenty forty five. Uh, crazy donated seventy five dollars. Jeez, crazy. Thank you so much. I'll awesome. read say for him as well because I feel like he's our lead tech guy for this event. And uh, he said, how awesome to have such an amazing runner with an amazing voice talking alongside him. Apologies for the technical hiccups, but hoping we're going smooth. Does this start, help this down? I'll make you all forgive me. <laughs> we, we more than forgive you. So actually this I shot here causes some zombies to change position in the pre next room there. It's not something a lot of runners actually know about, but uh, it's a reason why the zombies are a little bit different on Leon than they are on Claire, but uh, we will see them soon. And I'll have to do something a little bit unoptimal here. I forgot to grab the pouch at G1, which means I'm gonna have to do an extra bank here, just to make sure uh, I can carry some extra safety with me. Um, 
So just you. ignore me doing some unoptimal things. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> Very good. In the process of ignoring. Alright. That's all. Now actually we gotta hope there's the zombies behave because we have zero bullets. They should be behaving right every single time. But then again, so it's a marathon. So if you have like zero bullets, I'm, I'm wondering how you're gonna kill G2. I bet you don't shoot him at all. Lure him, use knife. Let's leave some... Uh... We will see Mystery. when we encounter it, alright? <laughs> yeah, I'm like... I'm just... Uh... Alright, the zombies are behaving, which is very good. Um, it's a really rare chance these zombies are actually facing towards you where you need to shoot them. So I took a little bit of a gamble there. But we'll be getting some bullets back here. Which is, we're trying to pick up the more optimal ammo. Which doesn't lose us that much time. Big fat grenade. So, as I said before, we're using grenades and a knife quite a bit on this run. Um, the other way to do this run is basically using only knives, which is... It is good, but it is something I'm less familiar with. Mm -hmm. And the safest way is using shotgun and grenades. Uh, but I like to do things a bit risky, so... Okay, to all the viewers in chat, do you have any further questions for Nick? Whilst you've got this opportunity here to ask any questions, please put them in chat now and we'll, we'll go through them. Think, yeah. 33 minutes, almost at G2. Wow. I'd be getting to Birkin at this point. Birkin. Alright, so these guys, the pool party boys, are quite the mean guys. I'm gonna take them a bit slowly and safely. Because they tend to block your way quite a bit. Have they ruined your runs at all? Oh, there's a lot of things that have ruined my runs. Even discarding badly has ruined the run. Mm -hmm. That's how uh, tight these runs can be sometimes. Coffee drinking noobs just asked a question. Nick, what is your favorite kind of pizza? Oh, without a doubt, I like um, a good pepperoni pizza with some garlic and basil on it. And all right, the real of... question though, <laughs> does pineapple belong into a pizza? Um, I would say no. Oh my God. Oh, damn it! Worse. Damn I'm it! A, a, I'm a savory guy. Savory. All right, so let's see if these the adults behave. Vulgan got us to about 2,060 bucks. Alright, we got the good behavior from these first two GLs. Damn. There's a lot of questions Next coming one. in, so we will try and get through them, folks. You just made him dive. How did yes. you do that? That one sucks. It is. It is kind of based on your positioning. And shooting yeah, yeah. at the right time. Right. It's right. Also, you kind of want to do. Uh, there's not too much information. We actually kind of know what's the actual cause for it. But uh, I'd say shooting in the head can make it more consistent. Shooting at the re right distance. And, you know, there's a lot of theories, but we're not quite sure. So, when something works, we just try to replicate it and hope it works again. Basically, exactly. Nelly, thank you for the five dollar donation. Amazing. There is a question from Dan. Nick, if you were to speed run, uh, would you prefer the original or the newer games? Um, I would say probably the newer ones. I bet I'm so familiar with four. Uh, with my eyes closed, I would love to practice that at some point. Speed run four. With my bro Absolutely. right there with me. <laughs> That'll be fun. I'm gonna take a safe line here. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm not. Chaz has it. Another five bucks. Yeah. Thank you. Now, 2070. 20, Amazing. Well, we're pushing towards the final goal here, folks. Keep it coming. No, I had a little bit of bad luck there, but uh, yeah, 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 I, I did that. scrape by. Luckily. Who was that? You did. This next nah. one's easy. So we're about to... Uh, we're soon getting the G2 fight here. And uh, 
I can't wait to see that fight. And G3. I want to see you. You got to kill that guy. I'm sure that's a lot of knife. A lot of knife. Oh, indeed. It is a lot of knife in this one, for sure. And, question uh, to Nick. Oh, sorry, guy. Yeah. No, no, you, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, question for Nick. Will you stay watching the rest of the marathon runners, or you're here for only this run? Well, Nick's a busy guy, folks, and it's an absolute pleasure to have him here today um, commentating over Trey's run. So I'm yeah. assuming he'll probably be in and out and doing his own Yeah, thing. it's only going to be this one. I'll take a few questions after, too, but uh, today, this weekend's going to be a super, super busy day. Um, I saw a few more questions. How do I take my coffee? <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, I love coffee. I would take it any which way. Come on, drink it, uh, drink it with a ton of cream, ton of sugar. Doesn't matter, I don't discriminate. Yeah, Trey's the king of coffee as well. He brings two flasks with him twice mm -hmm. each stream. Good for you, that's the way to go. <laughs> okay. Oreos and coffee, that's awesome. my thing. Like, Pizza <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> just, just a lot of coffee, black actually. Just, I actually do have a thermos bottle here full of coffee, but I can't really drink it with the face paint on, so. Obviously, we've got a big fight coming up now, folks. So we've got one more question from Burger Pits. Uh, Nick, besides Ari, what is your favorite video game franchise? Huge fan of um, Final Fantasy VII. And, jeez, I'm going to spit out a bunch. Yeah, I love Capcom, like Mega Man, Metroid, like that franchise. Um, I love Final Fantasy. I love anything horror. So like Silent Hill is great. Um, Dead Space is really fun and interesting. And I could, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I even start? Castle Let's see Mania. how this guy fight goes. This is uh, oh, I want to see this. Okay, I, I quite the intense it. one. I'm gonna try to do it as optimal as we can, but this is gonna be great. Well, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So Here we made a leap attack. Have you ever tried asking him to just stop? <laughs> Hold on, hold on. You I can't currently reason. hear you properly. Now I got you. Because of the game sounds being a bit loud on my end. My bad. So oh, that should be enough. Will you damage him enough so that one crate hit kills him? Yes. So this should be enough to make him go down on one cycle. So basically the most important thing getting this fight quickly is getting to the button as quickly as you can and pressing yes. it again as quickly as you can. So that that's what we do, and we wow. use the knife to... Uh... Well done on that, that was brilliant. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Jesse Does Horror. Um, he's like, the main lead when it comes to Bio Biohazard Declassified. Yeah, he's awesome. And it's nice. all down to Jesse to get Nick here today. So thank you ever so much, Jesse. Um, and there's, there is a, a bit of a comment here. So Nick's got to go prep to Mocap for RE4 Remake. Hmm, question mark. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's, a that's a negative. <laughs> Always training though, with I'm prepared. <clears throat> Can't wait if that happens though. But yeah, yeah, what's up what's up Jesse? How you doing? Thank you for um thank you for making me aware of this great charity. So awesome. I'm not sure we had some donation about who works the kissing scene and it happens right here but are we holding up to that? Are we watching <laughs> the kiss? Uh, doesn't affect yeah, us. let's make it happen. Can't wait for yeah. Okay, let's make it happen. The stone cold face of Leon. Here we go. Nick's kissing you know, scene. <laughs> yes. This is a federal case. Once let's give a virus, big I'll shout out to the amazing home. Jolene and Ada. She's an amazing Trust person. Me. Indeed. Trust me. I feel like the costume choice doesn't this part justice, but... <laughs> it's hilarious, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I I might I've never, never actually seen right. this mod with this <laughs> scene. <laughs> yeah, I actually never actually have seen either, so... It's the first. I can see why she's attracted to him, though. It's a federal case. I yeah. The authority. Look at me. Look at that face. Look at that beauty. <laughs> so so <laughs> polygons. I'm gonna finish this case. You're the last one. Those sharp, chiseled polygons. <laughs> Look at the eyes open. Look at them open. Rookie mistake. I'll be fine. So funny. Don't worry. About me. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. 
<laughs> Leon, your nose just stabbed me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the sharp nose. That. <laughs> uh, well, That's so funny. So that was worth it, guys. So you were at 41. Oh. We got 14 minutes to beat G3 and X. Yeah, so uh, normally this is where I think the current second place runner that uses shotgun, he would grab it here, but because mm -hmm. if you didn't know, the shotgun or the grenade launcher do spawn here if you don't get it. I, I uh, knew that. Or PD. I, I knew that from my friends. They've taught me quite a bit. I'm just not as good as them or you. <laughs> so we did a pistol bullet there that usually baits a zombie to be attracted to that door, but we'll have to see if it actually works, because it's not... It's a little bit luck-based, so... Okay, the zombie did not get drawn to the pistol bullet. Lucy Lover just donated five bucks for at 2075. Holy shit. Yeah, so Lucy Lover does a lot of uh, knife only ones with Leon in this case. Oh, cool. So, yeah, he's a, another excellent speedrunner. Awesome. It's cool to see all you guys come together. It's a world I'm not too familiar with, but it's, uh, it's awe inspiring, I'll say that. Um, there, was, there is a question from John T. So, Nick, are you ever going to make up with Mr. X? He just wants to play tag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe one day. We're a little bit low on bullets here. I'm trying to actually think where I can get pistol bullets. But uh, I think I might have an idea. But hopefully this doesn't make things harder on me because I've picked up quite a few extra things which I normally wouldn't. So hopefully the difficulty isn't quite as hard. So just another mention about from Burger Pits. How does Nick feel about blindfolded gas station runs? Well, if you saw yours, Burger, I don't think you'd be entirely impressed. <laughs> uh, I I'm not familiar with those just yet. I haven't seen any, but I would love to see something like that. We could probably tag you into a clip from yesterday's uh, day one of the event. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Um, <laughs> I've actually tried running this game blindfolded and gotten a player run all the way to Mr. Rex at the helicopter. No. But, uh, that is as far as I've gotten. And the big problem with Mr. Rex, if he hosts you, he changes your camera direction and you are completely lost then. So you would basically have to, from that point on, not get thrown at all by Mr. Rex. And uh, it's quite of hard course. blindfolded. Of course, I would imagine. Just of a mention from Jontis. Nick, I'm relatively new to the community and it's an amazing, welcoming and supportive place to be as a person, gamer and streamer. So you always got a place with RPD. Uh, that that's means great. a lot. That's a, that's a big part of the reason why I, I do these things and get involved and connect with the community because it, um, it's just about spreading positivity and that's something that we can do in this weird ass time that we're living in which is yeah. strange uh, i'm 36 years old and this is the weirdest year of my life so <laughs> if i can help in any way let's do it indeed not to mention i'm a huge fan of the franchise so this is just really fun for me it's not a chore it's fun yeah that's what, so really nice. yeah yeah I was meant to grab a safety pouch to have a safety heal for this section. Because uh, I'm doing this the risky way, which is kind of a lot of luck involved. But I did some extra backup banking and I should be able to grab a heal in case things go wrong. But let's let's oh. just hope things don't get too messy. Like that, okay. Um, my friends taught me that actually, if you actually... If you if a liquor is chasing you and you look at him in your rear view, they're slower. Is that yes, correct? they indeed are. They're a little bit camera shy in this game. It's kind of yes, a yeah. weird quirk. Interesting. But these liquors are quite high difficulty adjustments, so they go oh my god, what a bad RNG. We gonna just hope 
A lot of good things happen here. Yikes. Good luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go, here we go. This is, this is... Oh, man. Okay. Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed. Okay, liquors. <laughs> behave. Okay. I don't think they speak English, but we can try. Wait, what did I just <laughs> give at him? Oh, damn. I didn't mean to give a grenade on him. Wait, I gave him a flash. Okay, that's even worse. Oh, that's shit. even worse. I thought I was giving him a knife. It is. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Pink. <laughs> I mean, now I'm just trying to think how do I make back without without this flash? I probably should have taken that hit. If anyone can do it, it's you. <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> Alright, so. It's because you beat this game probably 2,000 times. Oh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna have to take this fight on purpose, but we really need some good behaving. These are the okay. moments where your right. expertise We made it! Through. We made it. Not clean, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Well done. Wow. Good stuff. One bite. Jesus Christ. I think it's fair to say that area is, is a big... That's hell. That's hell. Run killer. Yeah. So, you would normally hope when you go to that section that there's no zombies in the hallway at all, which can happen. But Did the, uh, the Ivy's here ever throw you off just because they grab you? Uh, well, their position is random. And uh, you. You can sometimes just risk it and hope they don't react at all. On, at least on standard difficulty, but it's a lot riskier. We do have a lot of pistol bullets here, though. So if we just hit the bulb, we should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kapal asks if I would ever consider attending any Comic-Con. Let's concert. try. Okay. The cast of RE2, and I think RE3 as well, like, we will go to any cons that ask us there. But we have to be asked. Um, and it helps with fans if they if they want us to attend a con. Just social media, guys. It helps um, if you tag the con and tag us and say get us there the con is more likely to invite us. So, that's my answer. We'd love to go anywhere. We'd love to travel, meet you guys. 100%. Very cool. Wish I could travel from Finland, but in Italy, at least it's getting into the US, but uh, also though the situation does hopefully allow too much traveling at the moment, but yeah. in the All future, the hopefully. Out. Yeah, we don't know when it's gonna happen again, but I can't wait for them to start up again. Yeah. I've just got a quick question from Don Story. Uh, Nick, would Leon prefer a sewer soda or an antidote milkshake? Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> um, that's a good question. I would say sewer soda. I like, I like the alliteration. Sewer soda, it is. Okay, and I'm going to go through one more question before Trey moves on to uh, G3. Uh, here's my ultimate question for Nick. Have you played Dino Crisis? And if so, what's your favorite Dino? Okay, here's the thing. Um, I played Dino Crisis when it came out, and that was the last time I played it. Uh, I can't remember which Dino. I mean, right. it's been many, okay. many years. I really got more into Resident Evil um, and a lot of survival horrors. I mean, I guess you could say that is survival horror, too, coming from Capcom. But it's been a long time. Sorry to I'm disappoint. Gonna... So I will lower uh, graphic a little bit here. To make sure my frame rate holds up high for this knifing. But uh, so, yeah, let's see I... how. Good luck, man. This is gonna be a good fight. And uh, Decky 405, that's if I could have been to Norway. I've been to Norway two times. Love it. Beautiful country. Uh, yeah. Wow. Not the best luck, so this is the reason why this route is really luck based. So you really want the grenades to knock as many eyes as possible, but it's totally luck based. So it didn't, makes this... it, didn't, it didn't hit any eyes really. So we got 
one of the eyes, which is the good eye, but we knocked it at the very last throw, which is bad. But indeed, we did manage to kill this fight. It is, it's always doable, but there is, like, depending on what grenades pop the eyes, or if they don't pop at all, you lose a lot more time. Wow. So that is quite that intense, but. That um, was fast. Good game on that fight. Um, oh, wow. Fantastic, as always. Uh, a, a question from, from Longthorn. A uh, question for Nick. Who would win in the fight, Chris or Leon? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if both can penetrate Chris's bicep. <laughs> yeah. I would say Chris probably would win, just by default. <laughs> I've good... not seen uh, Leon punch a boulder either, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, Great. yeah, we had that earlier today uh, with Resident Evil 5 and the incentive was met and the boulder smashing commenced. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious, incredible. but you know what? I, I also love that game because I played it non-stop with my little brother because of the co-op. It was just too yeah. fun. I still, yeah. to this day, I still play Mercenaries. Um, a couple times a month with him, with different friends. Mercenaries is fun in that game. It never gets old. Yeah, it's saying the same thing. It's really fun playing co-op on that game. Brilliant. I love it. I love it. So we're close to the finish line here. We have uh, the typical self-destruction sequence here. It happens in a lot of Resident Evil games. At the end. I've you're, you're, you are going to beat this in about 55, aren't you? Uh, possibly, possibly, <laughs> uh, but, uh, so we're gonna do some, uh, shots here to manipulate these few IVs, they behave. I did kind of put a safety knife in case. Normally I would just ho run here and hope, and it looks like the manips worked. So these IVs are just sleeping. something else we're actually manipulating mr x to do kind of a we've done this a lot in the run but i didn't mention it we're manipulating mr x to do kind of this jump punch animation kind of and uh, it has really late hit detection so uh, just run past him it's simple and uh this last fight not a surprise, but we will use knife. And this is actually yes. quite a relaxing fight, assuming I don't really mess this up, which I shouldn't, but obviously. I, a friend of mine um, does this fight with just a knife, and she just kind of rolls around him clockwise, uh, uh, counter, counterclockwise, and just hits him with a knife. That's all. Actually, yeah, so this fight, you need to stagger this boss fight, this boss, three times. And then it just kill time, so we do some dancing here with Mr. X. And we actually had really good knife staggers there, that's like insanely good. We had two one knife slash, like one knife slash staggers, which is like, I've never seen that, basically. So I guess that's a good thing. Wish that could happen in a run, but... And here he's gonna punch the rock. Uh, it's just reading, if there's a rock close by, he will go for that. Otherwise, he's alternating between like a fast and slow attack. Are you are you knifing him right now? Because I don't see you knifing him at all. So what you need to do in the very beginning, you only need to knife him so he staggers three times, and after that, you just need to wait. It's really? really simple. Yes. So around 6:43, we should have uh, the rocket launcher drop here. Oh, all I right. I thought it was damage based after that. And uh, with that, we actually killed Super Tyrant. And that was a clean fight. About as best as you could hope for. And, and oh, wow. with that, we do actually have a run. And, okay, let, let's see. Leave well, it as a not surprise there. here, but this is indeed. Shit! Crazy. Get out of here. Is flying. That's the only thing I'm going to make. Okay. The finish live. Okay. Congratulations, buddy. That was awesome. Like, as 
Thanks so much for having me for this great charity marathon that the children. No problems. And, uh, Trey, Scott, you know, uh, whilst we've got you for a few more minutes, Nick, if that's okay with yourself. Sure. I just want to say, um, I'm really, my mind is blown. That was a great playthrough, man. And I love your face paint too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And uh, let's have a look at the little ending time here. 53, 15. Uh, considering we did a lot of safety strat, that's actually a decently good time. Um, and the run wasn't that clean. At least wow. if you consider world record standards. But it was pretty good wow. time, actually. 53, 15. That's insane. But what's your world record again? Uh, My record world one? record is 51, 58. And, uh, 50. that's... that's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> insane. Good for you. This has been fun to watch, and I learned a lot, actually. I'm just going to go a few questions, Nick, as well, if that's okay. Um, we've got a question from Blossom. Um, which Leon is your favourite? If you say anything else than RE4, you're wrong, by the way. <laughs> Are you saying for, for voice? Um, that wasn't mentioned in the, just your fit, favourite Leon. I would, um, I would have to say 4 because, um, again, that game was so... Oh like nostalgic and sentimental for me because of my relationship with my little brother and that was the very first game actually where where i played it and i was blown away by the voice a bit older in my teens and i i said to my little brother at the time i said imagine if if we could like be these characters and you know be in these games and that was back in like what 2004 and here we are, but I guess, I guess what I'm saying is, Paul Mercier's performance was the first time that I thought to myself, I would want to do this one day, and so I got to give it up to RE4. Wow, and now look where you are. <laughs> yep. Incredible stuff. Incredible. Um, if questions, whilst we've got Nick on for like a few minutes, and then he needs to go, unfortunately. Um, any questions to Ray? Did I'll be a Everyone's just calling, calling also legend. Take. I'm also you can be live and ask you in there also if ever it be. So a question: You speed run a, a lot of RE games? Is that true? Did you say that? Uh, well, I only know how to speed run two RE games, but this is like my main game. I so I'm quite new to speed running, considering this is my first ever speed run game. So this game especially holds a really uh, like a dear place in my heart and uh, I've not really been able to move on from it that much yet. I've learned some other speed rate games, but I only know two Resident Evil ones. What is your history with gaming? Uh, do you have any other favorite franchises like growing up? I've uh, gamed since I was like two years old. Like there's a big picture of me with like a baby bottle hanging from my teeth and I'm playing like Super Nintendo. Oh, uh, that is a, that's that's awesome. But like awesome. I had like I the, for the classic Fallout games I have a really like they're they're one of my favorites and uh I guess like a lot of old Blizzard games, StarCrafts and Warcrafts and so on. That's awesome. I started with um, actually the first console I ever had was Atari. I don't know if you remember Atari. I had that before I had NES, and that started like everything was Nintendo. And then, of course, I went Super Nintendo and then PlayStation. And ah, uh, just yeah. fun shit. The old game's a classic. Indeed, indeed. indeed. Um, well, thank you for doing this. Thank you for sharing your expertise with us. We reached our goal, guys. Um, we won a 2000. We got up to 2075, and we got a whole nother like two days of this. So, yeah, it's amazing. Thank you, everybody. Uh, do we have any more questions before we head out? Any more questions, folks? Now's the time. I guess I see one player a world record win. <laughs> when, I, when when I get player hardcore, I'll go back to standard. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, an interesting one. Anyway, uh, thank you so much, Nick. Glad we had you here from Jag. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thanks so thank much, you. Nick and, and Trey. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. This was really fun. It's a good way to start off a weekend for sure. Yeah. Quick question from Coffee: Have you ever played uh, the Tofu or Hunk Runs? 
Yeah, I've tried the hunk run, and that's really tough. And that's actually my next goal with this is to um, get good at the DLCs. And um, let's see, was it hunk? I think it was either hunk or kendo that I'm, I'm almost. I started the DLCs a while ago, then I got busy with other things. But yeah, the hunk run is awesome. I haven't done the tofu run. Fantastic. All right. Brilliant. Okay, guys. Um, yeah. Um, thank you ever so much. Um, a big shout out once again to Biohazard Declassified for making this happen and getting Nick on the show. Fantastic stuff, Nick. Thank you ever so much. We really do appreciate having you on and um, commentating over, well, in my opinion, one of the best speedrunners of his in Resident Evil 2 Remake. So yeah, thank so you ever so much. And um, yeah, guys, we will be coming up next with RE7. That's right, Resident Evil 7 speedrun. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. And thank you so much. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.